Hello, boys and girls. Mr. B back again with another simple art lesson. A lot of times I ask boys and girls, did you do anything fun this summer? Or did you do anything fun over the break? And they might have said, oh yeah, we went on a trip. Well, where'd you go? We went to the beach or we went to the mountain. So I like to show boys and girls that don't get a chance to go to the beach or the mountains what it looks like. I get to go to the beach because I went to the college at the beach and my daughter lives at the beach. And so I go down and see her, but I don't go to the mountains much. And so when I do, I like to take pictures and draw pictures. So I thought we could draw some pictures today. So not all beaches have this, but there are some things that you'll see at a beach that you won't see other places. So let's look at the beach. First of all, we're going to draw the horizon. That means the the end of the sky, where the sky meets the water, is the horizon line. So we're going to draw that. Okay. And then Mr. B loves to surf. I love, 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 love to surf. One of my top favorite things to do in the whole wide world. So I'm going to draw some waves. And to draw a wave, it's very simple. You draw a line that curves down just like that. You draw another line on top of it. It comes down, goes like that. Looks kind of like a puma uh, swoosh. And then we're going to make some bumpy lines just like that. And this is where the wave is breaking. And this is where it's already broken. Okay. Make some lines like this, extend this. <clears throat> and now we have, this is the tube. This is where Mr. B loves to be on the wave. So I'm going to make, I'm going to actually draw myself surfing here. Um, you'll see me draw this a lot. So there's my surfboard. And now I'm going to make a very simple stick person. Make me a bathing suit. There's my arm, one going up, one going down. And there I am on the surfboard. See that? Surfing on that wave. And now I can make the wave look a little darker by making more lines on it like that, okay? <clears throat> and then I'm gonna make the beach down here. Here's the beach where the waves come washing in. And I'm going to draw some seashells down here. Look, I think maybe I'll draw a crab. Got the pinchers out like that. And then I'll draw some legs on it, okay? And then, you know what? Let's say we're at a tropical beach. I'm going to give it a, a fancy tropical palm tree. So I'm going to draw a line up the tree up like this. Okay. And then to make palm trees, it's actually really, really simple. Palm trees, you draw a line and then you make lines on both sides of that. So go down, 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 and then down, 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 down. And that is a palm branch. Line goes down, 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 down. Make another one over here. Down, 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 down. Is that an annoying noise? Yes, it is. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. And then we'll make some coconut right there and a coconut right here. Gotta have a coconut on the ground. Now, a cool thing about making a palm tree is drawing the bark and the bark is nothing but a bunch of V's. V like victory. And just do V, 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 or maybe W, W, W. And that's just the bark on a palm tree right there. Okay. Well, let's say we're out in California and it's sunset. So we're going to have the sun going down. There's the sun going down. Maybe we'll put a one cloud over here. What do you see at the beach sometimes? Oh, forgot. We got to have a line in here. This gives it some, some depth. Let you know where the where the waves have come in. What do you see at the beach sometimes? Seagulls. So let's make a seagull flying up here. Seagulls flying are really easy to do. You just make kind of a fat wide M, uh, a V or a squatted M. And there's my beach picture, okay? Now, you will probably add a lot more detail to it, and that's great. Now, looking at the mountains, 
Let's say we've got one great big giant mountain in the background. And we're gonna make this line right here, that's snow on top of the mountain. So we'll add a few more places where there's snow on it. Okay. And then we're going to make some smaller mountains that are closer. And as you get closer, you see more detail. So now we're going to add trees. And just like I did those palm trees, making pine trees and other trees is really, really simple. You practice and you'll get so good at it. So we're going to, I'm going to actually erase this right here. And I'm going to make a line going up. And I'm just going to go down, 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 down. And I'm just going to keep doing that. I don't even have to do that all over the place. Just by doing it like that gives the, it, the illusion that there are trees there and everywhere. Now, they're not all pine trees. I mean, the Long Blonde Pine is the tree of North Carolina, but we're going to make some oak trees too, or some maple trees. And we're just kind of, those are bushier, okay? And we're gonna do, we'll do another pine tree down here. And then we'll do another oak tree. Now, if I had my markers or my crayons, I would be doing this. And as I was doing this, I might be using fall colors or maybe I was coloring everything. The, the pine trees are dark green, but other trees might be a different color if the leaves are changing. Okay. And then maybe we've got another big rocky area here. And then these got more, more trees over here. And maybe there's a big tall dead tree right there that doesn't have anything on it. Can't forget a few clouds up there high. Maybe this is Grandfather Mountain. At Grandfather Mountain, they have a mile high swinging bridge. So maybe we've got this bridge going across there like that. Mr. B has never been on Grandfather Mountain's mile high swinging bridge because I am really scared of heights. You're the artist. Anything you draw is going to be beautiful. Draw what you see, draw what you love. Drawing is fun. The best way to be a great drawer is to draw, 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 draw. Top 10 ways to be a great drawer is to keep drawing. Friends, I love you and I look forward to seeing you again. I hope you have fun drawing a beach and mountains. Bye.